Hi, this is Ivan for watchandlearn.com and in this video I'm going to be talking about a new series on this site and YouTube channel. It's going to be called something like uh, building sites with middlemen or something like that. This video is going to serve as an introduction to the series and middleman itself. First of all, let me tell you what we are going to do uh, in this series. So we are going to take this site, watchandlearn.com, and redesign it so it will run on middleman instead of WordPress. You may ask yourself, why am I doing this? Well, to explain that, uh, first we have to explain what middleman actually is. So, middleman is a static site generator. That means that the middleman is a framework of sorts uh, built on specific programming language and during the development phase you can use that language for instance if statements for each loops and so on to speed up your development but when you uh, when the page is built so when you run the build process on it you end up with a whole bunch of static files so why is that good first of all it's good for page speed so let's say you're on this site and you want to see this post right here using and installing new Olympus team what you would do you would click on this link right here so when you click that link a few things happen uh, first your browser communicates with the server and tells to the server hey server I need this page then the server says okay you got it I will talk to the PHP now the server and PHP are, are communicating the PHP says to the server, OK, server, uh, I will get that page for you. And then it has to go to talk to the database. Now, the PHP says to the database, hey, database, I need a few things from you. The database says, sure, what do you need? I need this title right here. I need uh, this video code right here. I need this text, these tags, and so on. Now, the database delivers all those all that information to the PHP and PHP using a template in WordPress constructs that information for viewing and says to the server now we get to step number three says to the server okay server I'm done you can deliver the page and then the server delivers the page to you to your browser now the leg that happens when you click that link and uh, the time it takes to load that page is mostly because of the step number two so this page doesn't actually exist on the server it has to be constructed by PHP and database so that's that uh, step actually slowing your page down so middleman gets rid of the step number two entirely because when you uh, when you're done with your development phase and you build your site you get a whole bunch of static files so you only have step number one and three so when you click a link on a middleman site it just tells to the server hey server I need this page and the server says okay I already got this page here you go and that's it the pages are much faster let's test this out so if we go to here to my front page and let's say we wanna see this uh, this post I will just click on it and we'll, 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 we will wait for a few seconds for the page to load. Now if we go to this site, this is my new personal website built on middleman, and if we go to projects, uh, just look how this page is going to load much much faster. So if we click on projects, the page is already loaded. If we view a project, the page is loaded immediately. If we go to contact, articles, view an article the pages are loaded much much faster than on the WordPress site because we got rid of the step number two which is constructing the actual page the pages already exist on the server so that's one advantage of of middleman the other advantage is that you don't have to use any kind of database so that inherently makes your site much more secure there's nothing for hackers to hack on your site there's no database, there's no admin interface, there's nothing. So they, they practically can, can't hack your site. Uh, they can hack it only if they actually want to uh, hack your uh, server account. That's the only way. So there is nothing to hack here. Uh, 
Another advantage is that you don't have to have any kind of special server configuration. You can use middleman on any kind of server, so Windows server, Linux server, pretty much any kind of server that will serve HTML, CSS, JavaScript and images. And that's pretty much all of the servers. Uh, middleman has something called front matter, which you can think of like uh, custom fields for WordPress. Uh, it also has something like custom post types, but we'll get into that in the future videos. Uh, and I think that's about it. So those are the advantages of using middleman. Let's talk about disadvantages. Well, we'll with middleman you can just create a site and deliver it to the user. I mean you can, but uh, only if that user doesn't want to update this site or wants you to update it uh, or doesn't want to update that site very often. So if your client comes to you and says okay I want a new website for my company and it's going to be just front page, about us page, contact page and maybe a product page then the middleman would be a perfect fit for that. But if you're going to make a site with some kind of complex logic behind it, users, uh, it needs to have an admin interface, it needs to be uh, updated very frequently, then middleman it just isn't for that. Middleman would be good for uh, static sites, like I said, for the client that needs a new uh, company website. It would be good for uh, blogs like this one and so on. Also you can make any complex apps with it because it uses just static files uh, and I think that's it. So you have to use the tools for the job and uh, middleman just isn't for complex web apps or anything that deals with data databases and co complex programming lo logic behind, uh, behind the scenes. So that brings me to the first question, why am I doing this? So I realized that I don't actually need WordPress on this site. It's practically a static site. It's a site that uh, uh, just displays some kind of information. So information about videos, it has some categories, tags and so on. So it doesn't actually have to use WordPress to work. It could be using static files or it could be using middleman to create those static files. So in this video we are going to take this site and make it make it so that it uses middleman instead of WordPress. And it's going to be a series of tutorials, I don't know, five or six for making that site. We won't be using much of CSS, we won't be doing a complete redesign, uh, at least not on video. I will be writing CSS but off screen, we will just be looking at the logic of, uh, of middleman and uh, the construction of the, of the site. Okay, so uh, before we get into the actual installation and before I show you how middleman works, let's just talk a little bit more about uh, static site generators. Middleman isn't the only site, uh, static site generator that exists, actually, actually there are a lot of them. So the most popular one is Jekyll, but I chose Middleman because it just kind of sits with me. Uh, sits much, much better than Jekyll or I don't know, Hugo is very popular, it's uh, on uh, a Go language, made on a Go language, Pelican is made on uh, Python, uh, let's see we have uh, branch which is made on uh, JavaScript and so on. As you can see there are a lot of them. Uh, most of them I think work pretty much the same way. They, I, I'm pretty sure most of them have uh, front matter which we'll uh, be getting into later and uh, as you can see on popularity scale the middleman is currently in 8th place. So that's about it. The Jekyll is currently the most popular uh, static site generator and you might have already heard of it. Uh, th I think there are some tutorials online so you can check Jekyll out. Maybe it suits you much better than middleman. The one thing actually Jekyll has that middleman doesn't have is uh, you get the blog option for, um, 
for your site immediately with Jekyll. Uh, with Middleman you have to install uh, blog gem for it to work as a blog of course. Okay so let's install Middleman. To install Middleman you have to have Ruby installed on your system so you can go to rubylang.org click download uh, Ruby uh, if you're on Unix or Linux machine you can use your package management system to install it uh, on macOS you should have Ruby already installed but you may need to have to update it if you're on Windows machine you can use the Ruby installer so see the installation page for that and you have Ruby installer right here for Windows for OS 6 as I've said you already have it and so on so you have to have Ruby to use middleman because middleman uses Ruby as a programming language to build your pages and to help you uh, with the development of those pages as I said before in using I don't know if statements uh, for each loops and so on so to make your development process process much faster another thing after you installed Ruby then you would have access to uh, Ruby gems so to install middleman then you just go to your terminal and do gem install middleman and that's it press enter as I already have middleman installed on my system I won't do that right now but you should do it and install it after that when you installed middleman let's make a new site in middleman so to do that you just do middleman in it so initialize and let's call it my site and press enter then you wait a while till everything uh, generates for you so once the middleman generated your site you can go to CD my site if I list uh, all the files you will see I got git ignore file gem file gem file lock config.rb and source folder so let's open this in sublime text okay just move it to desktop one okay so we have these files right here so config.rb file uh, is used for configuring your middleman installation as you can see uh, these actions right here will uh, be done once the middleman is built so uh, you can set uh, your CSS directory your JS directory your images directory uh, you can activate active uh, activate live reload which will will which we will do right now so I'm just going to uncomment this so the middleman comes with the live reload right out, out of the box so that's one cool thing about it we will save this and you have this source folder right here so you have your images you have your JavaScripts which use Ruby's asset pipeline so that's great and you have layouts so this is the layout of your site this thing right here between these body tags is where the content goes so it says yield so everything uh, in templates your templates we will which we will show later uh, will be uh, between those files between those body tags at least for the time being of course we are going to make our own layouts uh, make our own partials so partials are uh, files that you can reuse so we would have header partial right here and let's say footer partial right here so that we don't have to write them or copy them or uh, all over again uh, then you have your style sheets folder with normalized CSS it comes with it and all CSS which is well you will see right now what uh, those files do so one more cool thing about middleman is that it has its own server 
so to start up your middleman project you would just go middleman server and press enter as you can see middleman just loaded and it loaded live reload which is waiting for a connect so to see your middleman site you go to this address so HTTP 129.168.1.222 okay so let's just put it right here and this is your first middleman site you can uh, start up your Chrome plugin if you have it and when you start it up uh, every change you made make uh, to the middleman files it will be automatically represented on this page so you don't have to refresh it so if I go right here and uh, let's say index.html.erb and instead of this middleman is watching I write hello world and save it once I save it it will automatically refresh this page so it says hello world so you get live reload out of the box with middleman this is the thing I was talking about this is the front matter so every page in middleman has this front matter actually has it has if you want it to have if you don't want it to have it doesn't have to have it so as you can see the title of this page is welcome to middleman and we can see it if we go to view page source and see this title right here it says welcome to middleman so we can change that to hello world if we save it and refresh this view source it sells hello world now this is done through uh, ruby logic so if I go to layout.erb I can see that in between title tags I have these special Ruby tags which which say current page if we are on current page if that page has data and it has ti title just write that title out so it takes this front matter this is called front matter it takes this title and uh, puts it in between these title tags so for every page you make you will have this front matter which will be uh, represented right in here uh, you can also add your own front matter you can say meta so to write a meta description for the page or you, see, you can say tags to write some tags or even category and write the category that the page is in and so on uh, I will show you my uh, this is not it I will show you this site so this is the the site I showed you earlier uh, as I said it's all it's also made in middleman so as you can see it looks a bit complicated in the source so we have articles every article is represented by this markdown file right here so if we go to articles these are my articles and as you can see the articles have some front matter so this is the title uh, we can put an image here uh, we can have an intro text meta text and so on projects have a different front matter so they have an image they have an intro image they have an uh, intro text uh, meta it has some array with work done it has project URL so when we go to projects and we go to view project we have this visit site button which takes data from this project URL so as I said before you can think of it like custom fields in WordPress you can do a lot of stuff with it now once you're done with building your site you uh, actually developing your site you have to build it so to do that you just go to your terminal just a second where is my site okay my site you go to your terminal uh, close out of your server and just do 
middleman build and that's it and as you can see right here now we have source folder and we have a build folder so the build folder is just static files so it's index.html HTML which is made from layout.erb and index.html.erb so it's now just one file with uh, as you can see it says hello world here there are no ERB tags and so on it's just a static file so you can take this build folder and just put it on your server and it will work it will show this right here actually this right here so I think that's about for this first intro video in the next video we are going to start creating this web page right here uh, it's going to be a lot more complicated than this but I think it will be fun and you will learn something new and maybe use middleman for your next project so that's it guys for this video please follow me on Twitter follow me on Facebook uh, please subscribe to these videos if you like them uh, if you have any questions leave them in the comments below if you're watching this on the YouTube or leave on the comment section of my site if you're watching it on my site so that's it then have a good one